okay after completing my words on leprosy on comparative discussion of lepromatous and tubercular leprosy we shall move towards a smaller sub topic inside leprosy that is immunity it is under leprosy so an infection with an infection with lepra bacilli induces both humoral immunity and as well as cell mediated immunity but as i already mentioned in the previous video that humoral antibodies do not have any deleterious effect on the lepra bacilli but the cell mediated immunity is the one that is able to kill the lepra bacilli so the type of leprosy we discussed earlier the lepromatous tuberculosis it this classification or type of the leprosy is determined by the status of cell mediated immunity in an individual deficient cell mediated immunity then the leprosy is a lepromatous type if the cell mediated immunity is adequate then it is a tuberculosis type let's move ahead and discuss these points immunity so some points we shall discuss in separate uh, as a whole and some other we will discuss comparatively as discussed earlier so immunity infection with bacilli induces both both humoral immunity and cell mediated immunity okay but humoral immunity have no deleterious effect but cell mediated immunity can kill the bacilli okay and it is a cell mediated immunity status of cell mediated immunity determines type of leprosy so if cmi is deficient and the other case is adequate are you able to see it if deficient then it is lepromatous type if adequate it is tuber cloid type okay so after this we shall discuss comparatively so i'd like to draw a table as before and okay this is for tuberculosis 
Lepromatous. Or uh, you can also write our uh, in case of uh, instead of lepromatous, you can write. CMI deficient and in tuberculosis the CMI, CMI adequate okay so the same thing if CMI is deficient then it, the type is lepromatous and if it is adequate if the CMI is adequate it is tuberculosis so the points we shall discuss about the points now so in uh, tuberculoid the CMI is adequate and and the mac uh, the bacilli are phagocytosed and killed killed by macrophages but this is not in case of lepromatous in lepromatous what happens is that the bacilli are phagocytosed get phagocytosed but not killed. Instead, they, they proliferate in the cells. Okay, and uh, as discussed earlier, I told that in tuberculosis, the humoral response is rare antibodies production high antibody production is rare so humoral antibodies are rare and albumin to globulin ratio is not altered okay uh, but in case of lepromatous type albumin to globulin ratio is reversed and large amount of both autoimmune and Anti mycobacterial antibodies are produced. Antibodies are produced. Okay. And in case of tuberculoid leprosy, delayed hypersensitivity is seen. There is a delayed hypersensitivity to the lepra bacilli protein. But in case of lepromatous, this delayed hypersensitivity is absent. 
so delayed hypersensitivity to lepra bacilli protein and in case of lepromatous delay hypersensitivity is absent and in case of lepromatous cd8 lymphocytes are predominant in circulation but in case of tuberculosis cd4 lymphocytes are predominant and along with circulation in case of lepromatous the cd cd8 lymphocytes are predominant in circulation and also in skin granulomas so i have no space over here so i am just writing over here in circulation plus skin granulomas okay this include uh, this is for lepromatous and uh, this is about immunity and one thing we have left in immunity is uh, that i told earlier that the course of leprosy can be divided into two reactions type 1 reactions or lepra reaction it is known as reversible reaction and type 2 reaction which is uh, which is also known as enl erythema nodosum leprosum so we'll also we'll uh, discuss about them comparatively in the next video and that video will be comparatively short video and after completing about those reaction we shall move towards lepromin test lab diagnosis and treatment